the heavy drinking can commence after I'm finished. My name is Deanne Sandberg, and I'm from TriMet in Portland, Oregon. And my job this evening is to enlighten you a little bit more about the man that we lovingly refer to as the godfather of revolution, Congressman Earl Blumenauer. All right. So, let's start at the beginning, shall we? The very beginning. Earl was born on August 16th, 1948, in Portland, Oregon. That makes Earl a Leo. Hey! So take a look at some of these words that are highlighted here, and as we go through the presentation, you can tell me whether this pegs Earl or not. So, Earl knew at a very early age that he wanted to serve the public. In fact, before he even finished college, he had already spearheaded a huge campaign to lower the voting age to 19, and he got elected to the Oregon legislature, okay? Won every precinct in his district. He served three terms in the Oregon legislature. I was trying to decide what class I was taking after history of rock and roll, but Earl was in the Oregon legislature. Amazing! All right, so a little tidbit about Earl in the legislature. He liked to walk around on the floor of the legislature just in his socks. <laughs> Strange, but true. This kind of pissed off another one of the legislatures, so he actually introduced a bill to mandate shoes on the floor of the legislature. But Earl had more important things on his mind. He wanted to abolish the sale of electric toothbrushes because they wasted electricity. So he introduced a bill to that effect. <laughs> a very busy man, very, very busy man. So he served some, a term, two terms on the Multnomah County Commission and he was at Portland City Council. He was the commissioner for public works. That meant that transportation and land use were under his purview. Ooh, let the fun begin. He realized that every single driver's license carrying public member thought they were a certified traffic engineer and they were gonna tell you how to do it right because you were doing it wrong. He said, you know, if you're gonna criticize the government, you might as well understand it. So he went ahead and started a class at PSU, Portland State University, a transportation class. He paid for the citizens to go. They had to sit there and listen to what was going on, how transportation worked, and you know what? It worked. There's actually some projects from this class that have been implemented and funded to this very day. The class is still going strong. Good, go good job, Earl. All right, so that's a little bit about the transportation class. Now, Portland, you know the story. Blah, 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 Mount Hood Freeway. You know, we made, we stopped it. They took the money. They went ahead and started the light rail project. But hey, it was hard in the early days. I mean, those meetings were really controversial. There are stories about armed undercover guards at meetings. Earl talks about strapping his two-year-old daughter to his back for extra protection. And gubernatorial candidates wanted us to postpone the opening of light rail because they thought it was going to be a disaster. But it wasn't. It worked. So. Now you know the rest of the story about revolution. Earl started a regional rail program. He uh, had house parties. He was building his citizen infrastructure. He had a regional rail summit. He thought 50 people would come. It was a Saturday. It was sunny in Portland. Nobody's going to show up. 300 people. Amazing. Earl describes it as magic. And here we are today, 20 years later, at Railvolution. But let's talk a little bit about the personal side of Earl. This is Earl on Portlandia. Read that quote. This is a man that is connected to his people. All right, another little tidbit. His son rented a chicken suit, a costume, and his son did not return that costume, tisk tisk. But Earl recycled that costume and wore it randomly to events. We still to this day do not know why, but it's a darn funny picture and I had to have it in my presentation. I mean, come on, that's great, huh? All right, and what about this bow tie thing? Well, evidently Bill, um, Bill Nato, who's an esteemed business leader and civic leader in Portland, told Earl, you know, if you're gonna run for Congress, you gotta have a theme. You gotta have something that people are gonna remember, uh, remember you for, like 
a bow tie. And there he is, bow tie man. I wonder how many he has. The other thing about Earl, the bike loves cycling. He cycles to work, he cycles everywhere. He started the Congressional Bike Caucus. He started, he, no, he spearheaded the Bicycle Commuter Act. Um, he's done so much for cycling in his years. And I love those little pins. Man, I don't want just one. I want two, I want three. They come in every color of the rainbow. They are fabulous. And story goes that if you have a meeting with Earl, you might be meeting on a bike. So you better bring your bike helmet. You better be prepared. Now, if he's not cycling, the other thing that Earl really likes to do is run. And he's ran quite a bit. Portland Marathon, run it numerous times with a broken arm, with a neck brace. He's ran it a week after the event ended because his schedule was so busy. He ran it one time, hurt his back, went home, recuperated, came back, and finished that darn race. He was going to finish it. Now, that is perseverance. And to continue with the tradition of running, every year on his birthday, he asks friends and family to gather and run laps for every year of his life at a local track. And he talks about international events that has happened over the past year, etc. That's Earl. You know, Earl really, Earl loves to um, make fruitcakes at the holiday. I don't know if any of you are on the fruitcake list. I hear it's like eating a cocktail, but <laughs> that's not right, exactly. Lots of pear brandy in these. They're very, very dangerous. But he does make hundreds of them, literally. So what's next for Earl? You know, I don't know, but I can't wait. I love Earl. And I think all of us at Revolution love Earl too. So he's done so much for so many in so such few time. We, I just can't wait to see what he's going to do next. And from me to Earl, you rock. Thank you. <laughs>